Hey y'all, it's the Southern Sim again with you with another speed build. I made the Stanley house, which I'm calling affectionately the Christmas house. Because this video is posting today, Friday, and I'm so excited because this one was very interesting. Um, I decided to go with a all traditional Christmas theme. So in my eyes, this family um, just look just loves Christmas, and they have Christmas all over their house year round because they love it so. So I don't expect everyone to like this house all year round the way it is. So you know, I I'm even thinking maybe as a future build or a future video is to go back and edit this house and then repost it you know it's just the Stanley house or whatever so they don't look so they're not the Christmas family all year round but for t for now they are the Christmas family all year round because it's just so sweet and I had so much fun creating this house and it actually the the video is going to be right around 25 minutes, give or take, either either way. Um, because I always, when I end up saving the video to upload to YouTube, it always be is just a hair different either way. So I'm just going to say roughly around 25 minutes. But you know, it it was just wonderful and fun. I got to be, you know, some things are you know not red and green like doors and the windows and stuff like that are white and the house has got red brick on the front in two places here but the rest of it is is white so and I took different windows in different areas just to get a particular look so it's not completely red and green but the base the main color theme is red and green and the rooms are extremely huge the every all the rooms are, are are large and I've got a lot to offer and so it will be interesting to go back and change this to a non Christmas theme so I may do that um, stay tuned it won't be really soon but you know it'll be up there probably um, yeah this was just just putting this house together for these people and I tell you I didn't want to say this but my husband encouraged me to say it, but when I was first had finished the house, I went in to try to get the, one of the Sims to um, turn the lights on on the outside to set the lights with the box from Seasons that you can rummage through. And I felt so bad after what I had to do because of what happened. But I forgot and I left the family outside and I wasn't thinking. In the dead of winter, you see all the snow here and it was really, it was a blizzard conditions when I finally got back into the game to get him to come inside and, and set the lights. And evidently the dog started to die and my game locked up. And when I finally went to go save the game after getting the lights turned on, I couldn't get back to save the game because stupid me for, and, you know, I'd say, save the house, but I had not saved the lights of the house, so I had to go back and do that. But I had to, where it got stuck, I had to kill my Sims. And man, I know some some people who play the, the game like that, but for me, I don't because for me, it represents a human being and it looks like a human and I can't kill a human so I can't kill my sins and it, it hurt I didn't want to do that so I, I didn't want to put this bad little spin on this by telling it but you know I I am um, really had to he wanted me to, to say he said you should tell him that you what you had to do and but anyway um, uh, right here when I was trying to I wanted to decorate the tree outside with lights and that's why I put that green Christmas tree outside and I was trying to cover up the, the rummage stuff there at the bottom with rocks but 
I was like, well, I couldn't get into do anything because it kept giving me this issue. And you'll see that in the video here in a moment when I go back to try to get him to, to decorate the lights. But they can't do it. They keep shaking their hand like, I can't get to it. So I moved the tree back out and they still can't get to it. So I had I scaled it back down and then they decorated it. And then after they were done, I went to scale it back up. And you could just barely see them that they weren't. So I was like, that ain't going to work. So I just put a regular um, pine tree right there. I couldn't put lights on it, of course. I wish I could because that would have looked really cute. But it is what it is. But um, I did some interesting things in this build. Tried to make it, you know, give the, the look and feel of someone just loving Christmas. But also trying to keep it fun and whimsical and to where it would work for The Sims. I mean, every person has a Christmas tree in their bedroom. Every one of them has their own Christmas tree. And it's either, either a more traditional looking Christmas tree or this really pretty one that I found that I put in a couple of rooms. And one of the rooms I put it in, I put it in the office. So, um, which is, you'll see me put together here soon. And I backed up that bathroom because I didn't want the bathroom to be so large. I just felt like it wouldn't work and I wouldn't, <clears throat> excuse me, I wouldn't get what I wanted here. And, but, um, I was kind of, and this right here, I was kind of wanting to make this into a walk-in kind of closet with curtains. So I fixed the curtains in a way, I added more curtains to it when I finally found the right ones to give more length to the curtain down there. Like those right there, they're a little bit off on the color, which is fine. It could be like two layers of curtains anyway. And they could close it off when they wasn't wanting to be in there. So I thought, I just thought that was neat doing it that way. And just <clears throat> trying to keep this whimsical and over the top and louder than life and I mean just trying to get it to where it was functional for each sim in their bedrooms and stuff but yet fun in the same instance because I wanted it to look you know I wanted it to remind you of Christmas make you think of Christmas now I did do some editing after off camera because some things didn't work out like I'm pretty sure the bathroom that I did that off camera um, to sh sh make it smaller and there were some other things I did off camera like the master bathroom I do not as I look through it look through it at the toward after doing both videos I just did not like the um I didn't like the way it looked. It just didn't look Christmassy enough for me to for the vibe I was trying to portray with this Christmas house and this family. So I decided to to make it look more like the other bathroom, which gave it a whole new look and it gave it to it gave it that oomph it needed because and and two, the the plants and stuff since it was winter time. I really didn't want to put a whole lot of plants, different plants out here because I didn't feel like it was necessary because the feel I was trying to go for was more of a Christmassy vibe and not the complete plant vibe. So I just put a little, a few, just regular plants and stuff out here. No flowers or anything because there really was no point with the snow. And I really love those little light um, things. It's, it, like what you have them here in real in real life, you know, you can put like a bag and make it look real pretty, cut out a hole and and put a little candle in it, and it looks. I, I apologize, but I forget what that particular thing is kind of called, but it's really pretty, and so I put a whole bunch of them all over the house, on the outside, on the inside, and on the back porch, and there's there was another Christmas tree. <laughs> I should have counted the amount of Christmas trees I actually put in the house. Because that it would be that is kind of funny to think about it though, um, and I realized maybe here yeah this is where I go to put that other roof because I do have a house I found online that was decorated for Christmas, and I thought it was and it had a layout and everything and I was like this is the one I have to use, and so of course I add more details 
than what is actually on this particular um, picture that I used. But if I think about it, I will try to insert a picture so you can see what it looks like. Um, but it was it was just really well, as soon as I saw the picture, I was like, "This is it. This is the one I have to have." And I decided here instead of putting just a cup chairs in this bedroom since it was so large, I decided to put a couch in here too. You know, you hear those jokes all the time where you say. You're going to be sleeping on the couch tonight. Well, at least if she makes the poor man, her, if uh, uh, Shirley makes her husband, Lewis, sleep on the couch, at least he'll be in the same room with her. Because <laughs> it would be so funny. <laughs> but anyway, I would never do that to my husband, even though I have picked on him and threatened that a few times in our marriage. <laughs> I'm like, you're going to sleep on the couch tonight if you don't hurry up come to bed. Anyway, I would never do that because I love him and I couldn't, I can't sleep without him. It's been nice. We're getting ready at the end of this month. We're getting ready to celebrate six years of marriage and I'm so excited. And it, it's just a wonderful time. I'm still, we're, we still haven't snared down our um, direction for going to see my family. I sure hope it's going to work out. I really do miss my mom and my aunt and love to see my cousin Ashley and her new husband. And it's just um, I love to see my mom's face when she opens up her Christmas presents, which I cannot say what they are because if she's listening then she doesn't need to know what she's getting for Christmas. And it's not my place to tell everything that my aunt got either. So, so I'm sorry, Mom. Don't ask. I'm not telling. <laughs> but anyway, um, here you can see where I'm trying to decorate that bathroom, the master bathroom, in a Christmassy vibe. But when I go back and look at it at, off camera, I'm like, I cannot stand this. This does not look the way I want it. And so I go back and I change it, which you'll see that in the screenshots, how I changed it. But I really, I wasn't planning on doing a full voiceover for the full video. But I'm going to try to talk a little bit more because I probably should. <laughs> but I'm just so excited that this really turned out better than I thought it was going to. Because I'm, I was thinking when I, when I said, told my husband... I have to do a Christmas video. I just think I want to make a Christmas house. And at, at the time, I didn't even think of the name The Christmas House. I was just thinking of this house should be, you know, decorated like Christmas all through the house. Because I have a few friends that I know that just love the Christmas season. They, look, they, they have their own Facebook group just dedicated to sharing your Christmas tree, sharing your uh, Christmas decorations, if you have other decorations in your house, um, just sharing, you know, anything you find, because she shares things that she finds online, too, pictures of Christmas trees and, uh, and ways to decorate your house for Christmas. And so I'm thinking of her because I know she loves snow. She's all about the snow, and she wants to see snow. And every time she sees even just the, the flurries of snowflakes, she's excited. I know she's happy about it when it snows. And so, I don't even know if she'll be listening to this video, but I thought about her when I was doing this video, knowing how much she loves the snow. And so, I kind of hope she does watch at least this video, <laughs> because she'll see... A blizzard I mean because every time I go to out more out in life for the for them you know you see how there's a blizzard condition going on at the, at the moment so and, and my husband every time it, they call for snow he's like he he you know he stayed up to, to like one and two o'clock in the morning a couple of different times because it was snowing so hard and he was like so excited. He was like a little kid. And this man, I, I kid you not, I'm going to tell his age on, on, on thing. We'll tell, you know, but 
Um, he he turned 50 years old this past uh, this past summer, and uh, we all had a wonderful celebration for him because he hit a milestone. And um, I was I'm just sitting here. He, he's just like a little kid every time it snows. And I kid you not, this man does not look nor act like he's 50. He will run circles around the youngest of kid, like. Cheyenne Cutie, he works with her and uh, in the same place, and and uh, she was helping him and put up s stuff in his department, and she had one pallet worth of stuff to put away, and he had like two and a half, something like that, and I kid you not, he got all two and a half pallets done, and she barely got her one done. And so she said she was game ashamed. So there's a new word because she came up with that. She'd never heard that before. And she said, I'm game ashamed. <laughs> and she's just recently turned 20. So I'm going to tell you, he can run circles around the best of us. But anyway. <laughs> so, um, but this was really fun. And as you can see here with this other bathroom, it's mostly red, black, and white. But I do put some green things in there, a couple of green things. So it turned out really good, and I was really excited by it. It was, I, I thought it looked really great when I got finished. And that's why when I got finished with that one, I went back to the master bathroom and like, this looks terrible. I've got to fix it. It looks so bad. <laughs> Oh man, has any of you ever realized that that you got one bathroom done after you did another one, and it was the other one was terrible? <laughs> oh my goodness! But you know, it is what it is. But I did fix it. But um, I had two of the bed. One of the bedrooms was the smallest. Like that one right there was the smallest, and I should have given that to the young boy. But it was an afterthought. I didn't think ahead that that other room there in the front should have been one of the teenage girls. But at some point, I may flip-flop it later. But right now, I'm just going to leave it because I like the way it looked. It, it just looked really good. I was able to place the furniture and stuff in a really nice way. And, of course, she's the only one that does not have a closet. So if I end up moving this and flip-flopping it later, when I go back to maybe readjust... This um, so it isn't a Christmas house. It's just the Stanley house. Then uh, I probably will put her up front and put the young boy in the middle bedroom there. So that way, because if you have a younger child, you you do want to protect your younger child from the. You want to keep them either in the back of the house or the middle of the house. So you know you know where. You, any of you moms know what I'm talking about here. But anyway. <laughs> I do tend to ramble. I do apologize. <laughs> but I was just really excited. This was really fun build. I, I hope you guys enjoy this build. We're soon going to be getting to the screenshots here in just a moment. And you'll be able to see all the changes I've made and, and everything. And I did take extra screenshots of pictures of the, where the, with the snow and the lights outside. So you can get a full look of everything. Because... At first, I had like little regular bulb lights outside, but then I decided, no, I didn't like that. It wasn't lit up enough. It wasn't pretty enough. I wanted more. <laughs> so I went back and I put icicle lights up. So <laughs> enjoy. Enjoy. It is fun. It is great. And it will help you to celebrate any time you want to celebrate in a Christmassy way. Every time. Because every... If you have your uh, sim calendar set for every seven days, every set, four times every seven days, so that brain can't count. 28, every 28 days you're going to celebrate Christmas. So <laughs> here's your Christmas house for every 28 days. But anyway, oh, it's too late, too, 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 whatever. <laughs> All right, I'm this, we're going to be here in a moment in the screenshots. I'm going to go ahead and let you go, but I would love to tell you from my family to yours to have a wonderful Merry Christmas, enjoy your family, have a wonderful, blessed time with everyone, because 
you could be like me and not know if you're going to get to see your family or not. So, enjoy what you have while you have it. Thank you all for taking the time to watch my video. I know it is a little long this time. I love all of you. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button. Give, you know, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. Let them enjoy this Christmas house. Tell them Merry Christmas from me. And when you do hit subscribe and the notification bell comes up, hit that bell so that way you'll be notified every time I post a new video. Thank you all for watching and have a blessed and Merry Christmas. Bye y'all. Love ya. Mwah. Thank you.